Hi, my name is Tom Casey, and I wanted to do a quick video today on your limousine company. And um, basically, the purpose of this video is to really just um, compare you to one of your competitors in terms of where you guys fall out in search results when people are searching online for limo service in Spokane. So, anyway, I'm just going to point out two factors to you today. That's it. I'm going to keep this video short. But before I do that, I want to just show you how many people are actually searching for limo service. This is a Google tool and it actually does a count by month for searches. In this case, I'm trying to figure out how many people are searching for limo service in Spokane. So, this is how many we've counted. That was only 40 that month, 170. By the way, I went back 12 months. 170, 390, that was a big month, 210, 90. It, it rounds it up to like the nearest 10, 70. And then all of about 100 over out here. And then last month, it was 170. So, lately, it's, it's averaging you know over 100. A month for sure, and that's um, not inconsequential. That's that's a decent number of people searching for limo service. So I thought this would be a good exercise. So I went over to um, Google and did a search for limo service, Spokane, and this is page one right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is find you, and you are over here. And you are Black Star Limousine, and you are on page two. All right, so what I'm going to do is, I'm like I mentioned, I'm just going to look at two factors that search engines consider when they do ranking. Obviously, they consider more than two, but I want to keep this video short. So I'm just going to take somebody off the first page here. I'm just going to take a little class limousine service to compare you two. So let's see if there's any differences between these two factors. And if there is difference, if there's anything to be done about those differences so that we can improve your ranking and you can move up in search results when people are searching for limo service. So the first factor I'm going to talk about is something called citations. A citation is actually a listing on a directory site for your business. It's a name, address, phone number listing for your business on a directory site. Okay, And I'm going to give you an example. This is a site that goes out and finds directories. Okay, like Obviously here's a directory site, Yellow Pages. <laughs> You're familiar with that, right? So, as the example, if Black Star Limousine Service has a listing in Yellow Pages for a name, address, phone number, that's considered one citation. Okay. Now, search engines like citations. They feel like the more, the better. They, it makes, in their eyes, it makes you more legitimate, and therefore they want to rank you higher than someone who has fewer citations than you do. Okay. So, the top section of this page. We actually can do a citation count. And I put you in here. Here you are as a business. And they tell me you have 41 citations. Okay. Now, a little class who we're comparing ourselves to today has 121. So there's obviously a little bit of a difference there. But the good news is we can quickly and fairly easily add you to these directory sites. So that this number 41, in short order, we can get that well up into the 60, 70, 80, 90 range. And when we do that, it's going to have a very nice impact, positive impact in terms of the way you show up in search results. You're definitely going to move up when people are searching for limo service. More people will see you. You should get more phone calls. Okay. That's the first factor. The second and last factor I'm going to talk about is backlinks. This one's the most important. A backlink is a link from one website to your website. As an example, if there was a website called SpokaneLimoSupplies.com and on their website they had a link to BlackStarLimo.net, that would be considered one backlink. Okay? Now search engines like backlinks even more than they like citations. Again, for similar reasons, they feel it makes you more legitimate and therefore they want to make you higher than someone who has fewer backlinks than you do. All right? Now this website I'm on actually does a link account of backlinks for you. So I put your website in there, and the number we want to look at is unique active backlinks, and they're saying you have two. Okay. Let's go see what a little class has. Okay, they have 16. So, again, there's a bit of a difference there. But the good news is we can add backlinks to your site. And we don't even need to add that many. I'm going to explain why in a second. If we added 10 good quality backlinks, that would have a tremendous, tremendous impact for you. And I'm going to show you why. Okay, even though they're ranking really well with 16 unique, this inf influence score is really bad. This should be closer to 20 or 30 percent. I'm going to explain what that is. Link influence score is an indicator of how strong your backlinks are. 
okay? The stronger the backlink, the higher that score is going to be. And the way they determine how strong the backlink is, is where it's coming from. The stronger the website, the better the website that's linking to you, the higher that score is going to be. That's why I'm saying if we just added 10 good quality backlinks from good quality sites and get this score up to like 20, high 20s or um, even 30%, that would be huge. You definitely would jump um, a lot in the rankings and way more people would, would find you when they're searching for limo service. Okay? More phone calls, more business. So anyway, these are the only two factors I wanted to discuss today. But you can see with just looking at these two alone that there's definitely differences between you and someone on the other page of Google. But you're also learning that there are steps we can take to mitigate those differences and correct them. And when we do that, just with these two factors alone, the end result is a really big jump for you in search results. Um, definitely a big, nice jump. So I hope this was helpful. Um, this is what I do for a living, but I don't charge for consulting. So if you want more information about what I'm talking about today, if you want more information on other factors I cover with my other customers that affect search results, all free. If you want me to review your website, all free. There is no cost, no obligation. All right? So anyway, if, you, if you'd like to, give me a call or shoot me an email. I'll be glad to speak with you. That's it for today. Have a great one. Bye now.